Hi, I'm Jason from Ishimoto, and today we're going to install the Performance Aluminum Fan Shroud for the BMW E46 M3. Tools needed for this installation are flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, T25 Torx, quarter inch drive ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, 19 millimeter socket, 3 8 drive ratchet, Mishimoto supplied fan tool, 32 millimeter wrench, wire stripping pliers, soldering iron, solder, heat shrink tubing, and heat source. Installation time is about two to three hours. Install difficulty is four out of five. Okay, now we're gonna pop the hood and let's get started. First thing you wanna do is raise up the car and support it on jack stands or with a two post lift like we have here. Next, remove the three pop clips and remove the air intake duct. Make sure the car is properly cooled down first, then you can remove the cap from the radiator reservoir. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the clip from the quick disconnect coupler. And now remove the coupler. This may take some force. Remove the side plastic trim off of the fan shroud. Now remove the small overflow port from the upper hose using a flathead screwdriver on the quick disconnect coupler. And now you can remove the side trim completely. And now remove the plastic trim from the opposite side of the radiator. Now you can remove the stock electrical connector off of the stock fan shroud and set it aside. Disconnect the plug to the stock fan shroud and remove the plug from the fan shroud. Once it is removed, set it off to the side. Using a T25 Torx, remove the two fan shroud retaining screws. Now, using a T25 Torx, remove the two upper fan shroud retaining screws. Using a small or stubby flathead screwdriver, you can remove the upper coolant hose completely. This will give you more room to remove the stock fan. Now using the supplied Mishimoto fan removal tool, you can now remove the stock fan. And now remember to turn the fan clockwise. Now by hand, you can turn the fan clockwise to remove it. Remove the fan and fan shroud assembly from the vehicle. Now you're ready to install the Mishimoto aluminum fan shroud. You are going to reuse the long screw from the passenger side upper mount. You can go ahead and install the lower driver side mounting bolt for the fan shroud. Now you can reinstall the upper radiator hose to the engine. Next, reconnect the upper radiator hose to the radiator and listen for the click. Now you know it's on. Once the hose is reconnected to the radiator, go ahead and reconnect the small overflow port. Warning, to avoid damage or injury, disconnect the battery before completing the following. Mount fan relay using two zip ties onto the flat beam near the ABS system. Cut both zip ties that hold all the wires together on the main fan controller wire harness. This will allow the wires to be free. Identify the red wire connecting to the wire harness. Route the wire and ensure there is enough length to reach the negative wire, the black wire, on the back of the Mishimoto fan. Strip the end of the red wire connected to the wire harness. Leave approximately a quarter inch of exposed wire. Place one inch of shrink tubing over the red wire. Take a female spade connector and crimp it to the end of the wire. Solder the wire to the female spade connector. Connect the red wire connected to the main relay with a negative black wire of the Mishimoto fan. Slide the shrink tubing over the spade connectors and with a heat source, melt the shrink tube. Now take the red wire and splice the end of it. Leave approximately a quarter inch of exposed wire. Cut a three quarter inch piece of small shrink tubing and slide it onto the red wire. Crimp on a ring connector onto the end of the loose red wire. Solder the ring connector to the exposed wire. Slide the shrink tubing over the ring connector and with a heat source melt the shrink tubing. Ensure that you are covering any exposed wire. Cut a three quarter inch piece of small shrink tubing and slide it onto the red wire. Now take the red wire and splice the end of it. Take a female spade connector and crimp it to the end of the wire. Solder the wire to the female spade connector. Connect the female spade connector to the positive wire of the Mishimoto fan. 
vehicle with a heat source melt the shrink tubing. Ensure that you are covering any exposed wire. Connect the ring terminal of the loose red wire to the positive terminal of the engine bay near the passenger side firewall. Locate the green wire attached to the main fan relay harness and wrap up the wire and zip tie it up. The green wire is not used in this application. If you have a probe style sensor, place it in between the fins of the radiator about 4 to 6 inches down on the passenger side of the radiator. Plug the sensor into the main fan relay unit. Find the black wire connected to the main wire harness and measure out the correct distance needed to reach the negative terminal on the engine bay. Strip one end of the black wire. Crimp on a ring connector. Solder the ring connector to the exposed wire. With a heat source, melt the shrink tubing. Ensure that you are covering any exposed wire. Connect the ring terminal to the negative battery terminal in the engine bay. Take the plastic wire loom supplied it and place it around all of the wires from the back of the Mishimoto fan and sensor wire to the positive and negative battery terminal. Now secure the plastic wire loom with the supplied zip ties. Now reinstall the air intake duct. On the passenger side of the firewall, just below where the main fan relay unit is mounted, is the BMW main wire harness access point. The wire harness has a rubber cover with one or two nipples sticking out of it. Cut the tip off of one of the two rubber nipples. Feed the yellow wire from the fan relay harness through the rubber nipple. Open the glove box and remove the six Phillips screws holding the glove box in place. Using a little force by pulling outward, the glove box can be dropped down. Measure the length of wire needed to reach the inside glove box approximately two feet from the firewall. Feed the yellow wire into the glove box. You can find gaps in the plastic of the glove box on the right rear side. Strip the end of the yellow wire. Crimp the supplied fuse jumper onto the yellow wire. Reinstall the glove box. Drop down the fuse box by turning the two white tabs on top of the glove box. Pull the 30 amp fuse going into the radio and place it in the empty slot of the fuse jumper. Plug the fuse jumper into the slot where the 30 amp fuse was. Before you fill the coolant, you want to open up the air bleed on the upper radiator hose. This will help evacuate air in the cooling system. Now refill the system with a 50-50 mixture of BMW approved coolant and distilled water. Now that you've installed and wired your Mishimoto fan shroud, start the car up and let it warm up for a while. Make sure the fan turns on and off like it should. Then you can go out for a ride and enjoy your new Mishimoto product.